these high schoolers witnessed one of Astro's Turin engine test fires from under 500 meters away. To date, Soyuz T-10A is the only crewed launch to activate its launch escape system while still on the pad. A fuel leak started a fire which burnt through the vehicle's control cables, leaving Mission Control scrambling to remotely activate the escape system. The crew was able to escape just in time, leaving behind a massive fireball. Watch a Cygnus resupply spacecraft undock from the International Space Station in this beautiful time lapse. hear what I'm saying. Um, I couldn't even hear myself. The Sprint nuclear missile was able to reach Mach 10 after just 5 seconds, pulling up to 100 Gs. This looks like sped up footage, doesn't it? It would be so fast that it could rise to a successful intercept, even if launched after low altitude aerodynamic target discrimination. In flight, Sprint would become incandescent. The Titan rocket family is known for its use of hot staging, which involves firing a stage while it's still attached to the one beneath it. This is much like what SpaceX is planning to do with Starship. All systems functioned as planned as the instrumented payload sped downrange. Here's a failed tethered test of NASA's Morpheus lander. Here's what it looks and sounds like to witness the Falcon Heavy side boosters hurtle towards the landing pads at Cape Canaveral. On its second test flight, the Soviet N-1 moon rocket had an engine failure very early into flight. The flight computer ended up shutting down all engines except for number 18 for an unknown reason. As a result of this, the N-1 started to lean over at a 45 degree angle and dropped straight back onto the pad. You are about to witness one of the largest non-nuclear man-made explosions in history. Would you stand this close to a rocket launch? I certainly wouldn't. Enjoy this absolutely stunning footage of a full Earth rising over the lunar surface, as captured by JAXA's Kaguya spacecraft. Thanks for tuning in to the first episode of Spacebound, and see you next time.